All right, so hello everyone. Now let's start to learn the insertion sort. Okay, so what is insertion sort? Insertion sort, for me, I think that is very interesting. You need to imagine that there is a wall. We are going to build a wall. Okay, actually, it means, okay, for this wall, for this wall, on the right hand side of the wall is unsorted array and the left hand side of the wall will be sorted array so for this one you need to um, divide the array to two parts the sorted and unsorted but you're not actually divided you just you are going to create a virtual wall to separate it so there is a wall okay and then you need to move the wall to the next position like this one and eventually okay when the wall okay move to the last position then it is done okay so now let's look at the example okay so the step is this okay you need to start from the first element in the array okay and you need to assume okay this one has been sorted so start from the beginning there will be a wall here Okay, start from the beginning. Okay, so on the left hand side, okay, this is sorted. And on the right hand side, this will be unsorted. All right, and then, okay, you need to get the first element, which is this one. And you are going to insert, okay, insert it into the sorted list. And of course, when you insert, insert the elements into the sorted list then you need to find the right position of the of the element so that it will be put at the right place all right so we just repeat it okay so now let's do it okay so this is the beginning position um, beginning situation okay so this is our list okay and we have a sorted number here and the first element that we are going to insert into the sorted array will be seven okay so what will we do okay, this is the array all right so of course we are going to move the wall from here to here and of course seven will be the number that we are going to insert okay but the rest are the uh, remaining the same all right and then okay we are going to find okay for seven okay when we are going to insert seven into 27 then of course seven need to compare with 27 and since 27 is greater than seven so you are going to put 27 here and put seven here okay so seven needs to compare with 27 and since <coughs> since 27 is greater than 7 so you need to move 27 here and 7 here All right so this is after first pass all right and then let's move on again okay this is our array and now we're going to move the wall to here so the rest are the same so this will be the wall. All right, so the next number that we are going to insert is two. All right, so again, okay, now two is here. All right, and you need to do two, okay, two compared with 27. And since 27 is greater than two, so you are going to move 27 from here to here. So this will be 27. All right, and then two will be here, and again two needs to compare with seven, and since seven is greater than two, so you need to move seven to here. Okay, so eventually two will be put at the first position. All right, so again let's check. Okay, this will be unsorted list, and this is sorted. All right, and again let's do it again. All right, so now, okay, we are going to move the wall from here to here. All right, so the number that we are going to insert will be 9. All right, so again, okay, 
start from the last element of the sorted array. So compare 9 and 27. Okay, since 27 is greater than 9. Okay, so you are going to move 27 to here. All right, so 9 will be here. And the next number will be 7. So you are going to compare 7 and 9. Since 7 is smaller than 9, which means all the number, the rest of the elements at the left hand side of the 7 will be also smaller than 9. So you don't need to change it. Okay, so you just need to put 9 here and the rest are remaining the same. Okay, so this is insertion sort. Okay, after first pass, after the second pass, after the third pass. Okay, so any questions so far? No? All right, so for an array of n elements, for example, this one. Okay, this one, the one we are working on. Okay, we have six elements, right? This one. Okay, so for an array of six elements, okay, the array is sorted, will be sorted after five passes. Okay, this is the same as the selection sort. Because for the after the first pass, okay, after the first pass, okay, the second, uh, the first two elements will be sorted. Okay, and after second one, okay, the first three will be sorted. Of course, for this one, okay, the wall, okay, you need to move the wall. Okay, let's do it. Okay, this is the second one. This is the third one. All right, for the fourth one, for the fourth one, the insertion num number, the, the number will be four, right? So four will be sorted. And then don't forget, you need to move the wall till the end of the array because the last the last elements also need to be inserted. In this case, the last element is the greatest one. But what if the last element, let's see, <coughs> if the last element is one? then of course it is smaller than all the numbers in this array then you need to insert it into the sorted array then of course one will be put here eventually okay so this is the fifth one so for n element okay for n element the array is sorted after n minus one passes and of course after the case pass Okay, after the case pass, the first elements are sorted, okay, with respect to each other, okay, but no necessary, okay, in their final sorted position, okay, so after case pass, for example, like this one, okay, after third pass, the first K element, okay, the first K element here, oh, sorry, not, this is after third pass, okay, this first, second, okay, this is third. Okay, after the third pass, okay, the first three elements, okay, are sorted. Okay, but it is not their final position because there are other elements here will be inserted. Okay, but this one, okay, the number before the wall, okay, are sorted. So any questions so far? All right, I guess no. All right, so the next one, okay, again, okay, then we need to implement the selection sort in Java. So how to implement the selection sort in Java? This one I think is more complicated, but still, okay, it is not the hard. Okay, so now, okay, let's start it. All right, so the precondition, again, okay, now given us unsorted int array, all right, and our post condition will be data has been sorted in ascending order. So what should we do? Okay, er, again, okay, I'm going to draw a small array here. All right, so, okay, again, okay, I said, okay, before we start to do the sorting, okay, let's assume there is a wall here. Okay, and this is sorted. Okay, and this side is unsorted. Okay, and again, everyone, okay, for the insertion sort, okay, although we say we need two array, one is sorted, the other one is unsorted, but you don't need actually to create two array to store this number. You just need to work in one array. 
So now let's see, okay, how to do it. Right, so this is the index value. All right, so now let's start to create a for loop. All right, and the for loop int, okay, and let's do index. Okay, start from one, right, and index, okay, is less than dot data dot length. Okay, and index plus plus. All right, so what does it mean? Here, okay, it means, okay, the index here, okay, the index here, it means the position, the position of the new element before insertion. Okay, so this one, the index here, it means this element, okay. Okay, then elements that is going to be inserted in that round. Okay, and then, okay, let's go into the follow-up. Then here, okay, we need two variables. One is int key. All right, and key will be data index. All right, so key, okay, key will record the new element's value. Okay, so it records Okay, it records value. All right, and the next one, okay, int position. All right, and position will be index. Okay, so position, okay, it records the position in the sorted list. Okay, this one. Okay, it is the position in sorted list. What does it mean? Okay, it means Okay, when you move the wall from here to here, maybe I need to change the color. When you move the wall from here to here, okay, then we need to find a correct position for the new element. Okay, and let's assume, okay, the star index, okay, which is its original position, okay, is their uh, right position. Let's assume it. Okay, so. Of course, the position will be indexed here. Okay, then of course we are going to find okay if it is its right position or not. All right, so after this one, okay, now let's move on. Okay, we need a while. All right, and what we're going to do? We're going to check okay all the elements in the sorted array, and if the element is greater than the new element, then you need to shift the larger value to the right, okay? So if the, <coughs> if the element here, okay, if the element is greater than the new element, then you need to shift this one to here, okay? And then of course, okay, your current position will be move forward. So of course, okay, it's dynamic, Okay, and of course you need to check, okay, if the position, okay, is greater than zero or not. Okay, and, okay, your data position minus one, okay, needs to be greater than the key. All right, if it, greater, it is greater than the key, then what will we do? Okay, your data position Okay, will be the data position minus one. Okay, and then you need to move the position. Okay, one position forward. Okay, and after that, okay, you can find the right position of the new element. All right, so the last step. Okay, that data the position. Okay, will be the key okay so that's it okay again okay let's quick review it all right so now okay for this one we also need two follow up uh, not two follow up two iterations all right the first one okay the outside follow up okay this one is for you to insert okay you are going to find uh you are going to control okay the element that is going to be inserted so 
the index will start from one. Okay, because let's assume the first element is sorted, All right? <coughs> and the index here, okay, it represents the position of new elements before insertion. All right, and then we need a key. We need a position. Key is going to record the value, and position is going to record the actual the sort uh, the the position in the sorted list. And then the while here, okay, the while here, this part is for you to check all the elements in the sorted array and start from the last one, from the biggest one in the sorted array. And if the element is greater than the new element, then you need to shift the larger value to the right. So, of course, okay, since you are going to keep moving on toward to index zero, so you need to make sure your position is greater than zero. And then, okay, if your current position, okay, is greater than the key, okay, like this one, okay, uh, three, okay, and the insert value is four, okay, and let's put a wall here, okay, this is a new element, okay, since the new position is greater than the current one, then you are going to move, okay, the current one, okay, this is the current position, okay, will be replaced to three, okay, and your position, okay, the position of the new element, okay, will be moved, okay, from, um, will start from here, okay, and move to here, so you need to do um, position minus minus, and eventually, okay, eventually, okay, when you find the right position, since you store the key already, so just assign the key again at the last statement. So you don't need to worry about if the value will be replaced at this statement. Okay. So any questions? Okay. So it needs a for loop and a while loop. Okay. And the outside for loop is control the new element. And the inner while loop is to find the correct position for the new element. All right, so if you don't have questions, then let's stop at here.